let us start with GIT. In the GIT, we have already discussed the esophagus and the stomach part. Let us discuss the small intestine, colon, and also the associated gland with it, the liver and pancreas and all. So esophagus, this is stomach. After stomach, we have the duodenum, and this is the small intestine. Okay, then this is the large intestine. This is pyloric sphincter. The food will enter here in the small intestine. And in the small intestine, we have two glands associated with it. One is this liver, okay, it will come out, gallbladder, this is the bile duct. Another gland is pancreas, okay, you have the idea of that. Now, as the food will enter into small intestine, what will happen now? Two glands, liver and pancreas. What will this liver secrete? The liver will secrete the bile from here, bile juice. The bile juice contains what? What is the function of bile juice? The function of bile juice is emulsification. This emulsification of fat, this is the function of bile juice. This emulsification of fat is because of the bile acids. In the bile juice, we have bile salts, bile acids. And these bile acids will emulsify the fat. What are the bile acids? What are the bile acids? The bile acids are Cholic acid, Cholic acid. And number two, Kinodeoxycholic acid. Kinodeoxycholic acid. Okay. Cholic acid and Kinodeoxycholic acid. These are primary bile acids. These bile acids are secreted from liver like this. It will come in intestine. And in the intestine, this will emulsify the fat. Emulsify, digest, absorb. From terminal ileum, these bile acids are absorbed. They are reabsorbed. They will again go to liver, again secrete, again come in small intestine, again reabsorb again liver. So this is the antrohepatic circulation of bile salts. So the question comes that the bile salts are reabsorbed from where? So they are reabsorbed from terminal ileum. The answer is terminal ileum. Not, not proximal ileum, not jejunum. Bile salts are maximally absorbed from terminal ileum. Intestine has bacteria and these bacteria will convert primary bile acids into secondary bile acids. The cholic acid will be converted into deoxycholic acid. Kinodeoxycholic acid will be converted into lithocholic acid. Lithocholic acid. And some amount of ursodeoxycholic acid also. Urso deoxycholic acid. So these are known as secondary bile acids. So cholic acid and kinodeoxycholic acid, these are primary bile acids. Deoxycholic acid, lithocholic acid, and urso deoxycholic acid, these are secondary bile acids. Conversion of primary into secondary, this is done by intestinal bacteria, bacteria line intestine. So intestinal bacteria will convert it. So question will come, primary bile acids are converted into secondary bile acids by what? Answer is bacteria. Most common question, from where bile salts are reabsorbed? They are reabsorbed from terminal Ileum. Okay. Small amount of bile salts they are excreted and the same amount is synthesized. Okay. So this is the antrohepatic circulation of bile salts. What is secreted from pancreas? Pancreas will secrete what? It will secrete various enzymes. Pancreatic juice it will contain enzymes. What are the enzymes in pancreatic juice for carbohydrate? Amylase pancreatic amylase. For fats, we have pancreatic lipase. 
pancreatic lipase for protein trypsin chymotrypsin okay so many other peptidases amino peptidases carboxy peptidases endo peptidases exo peptidases there are so many peptidases so many peptidases this okay so it will digest carbohydrate protein fat or it can digest phospholipid also phospholipase phospholipase is it can digest nucleic acid also dna rna nucleases so pancreas can digest everything carbohydrate protein fat phospholipid nucleic acid everything can be digested by pancreas there is one more enzyme which needs to be remembered and that enzyme is enterokinase what is this enzyme entero kinase what is the importance of this enzyme don't forget this enzyme enterokinase is a fixed enzyme in the intestinal wall this is present in intestinal wall fixed enzyme what is the function of this enterokinase this will convert trypsinogen trypsinogen into trypsin trypsin it is the activator of trypsinogen this trypsin protein digesting enzyme secreted by pancreas this is secreted in inactive form trypsinogen so that is activated by this enzyme enterokinase trypsinogen converted into trypsin only then it can digest protein because of this mechanism trypsinogen can never be activated inside the pancreas can you activate it inside the pancreas no why because only after coming out of the pancreas only then trypsinogen is activated okay so this is the mechanism okay you can very well imagine if trypsinogen is activated inside the pancreas what will happen okay acute pancreatitis will develop so why trypsinogen cannot be activated inside the pancreas because of this enzyme enterokinase this is a fixed enzyme in the intestinal wall is okay what are the hormones present in small intestine stomach duodenum small intestine two glands one is liver this is the gallbladder and second is pancreas so what is the hormone secreted by small intestine cck cholecystokinin cck cholecystokinin this is the main hormone of the small intestine what is the function of this cholecystokinin this will act on gallbladder and this will lead to gallbladder contraction okay cholecystokinin there is one more enzyme secreted by small intestine not enzyme hormone and this hormone is known as pancreogenin pz pancreo Zymin, pancreozymin, cholecystokinin, pancreozymin. What is the function of this pancreozymin? This will go to pancreas, and this will lead to the release of enzymes from pancreas. Cholecystokinin for gallbladder, pancreas, pancreozymin for pancreas. Later on, it was realized that these two hormones are not separate. Is the same hormone which is doing both the jobs so what is the they are not separate it is only one so what is the name given to this so the name given to this is cck pz cholecystokinin pancreogenin who is doing both the jobs gallbladder also pancreas also nowadays nobody will call it as cck pz we just call it as cck so what is the function of cck number one gallbladder contraction another function of cck is pancreas and this will lead to the release of enzyme pancreatic secretion which is rich in enzyme this is okay another function of cck may be gastric inhibitory it can inhibit the gastric motility it can inhib inhibit the gastric secretions also it can go to the hypothalamus also and it can produce satiety also 
satiety it will suppress the hunger in the brain also there is one more hormone released from small intestine what is that secretin another hormone what is the function of this hormone the main function of secretin it will go to pancreas and in the pancreas this will lead to the release of bicarbonate mind it the release of enzymes from pancreas is because of the cholecystokinin but the release of bicarbonate from the pancreas is is actually a function of secretin this question sometimes comes which will lead to the release of pancreatic secretion which is rich in bicarbonate secretin pancreat which will lead to the release of pancreatic secretion which is rich in enzyme cholecystokinin okay cholecystokinin pancreatinin they are almost the same thing what about the motility of small intestine small intestine has motility pattern also so what is the motility pattern of small intestine okay in the small intestine we have peristalsis going on but peristalsis is fine but which is the most common motility pattern of small intestine the most common motility pattern of small intestine is segmentations segmentations okay intestine is segmented okay and because of that segmentation the food is mixed there is no but propulsion only segmentation so this is the most common motility pattern after the small intestine the food enters into large intestine what is the function of large intestine in the large intestine there is no digestion no digestion only absorption so the function of large intestine is absorption okay absorption of water and minerals this is the function of large intestine and what is the most common motility pattern of large intestine in the large intestine the most common motility pattern is hostrations hostrations this is the term which is used in large intestine okay when large intestine contracts the pouches they are developed okay and this type of motility pattern is known as hostrations so this is seen in large intestine is okay so this was all about the small intestine large intestine liver and pancreas thank you